Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Vox. Welcome back to another Ubuntu Tips video brought to you by System76. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to uninstall programs or applications, two of which do not involve the command line. The third one does involve the command line and is a little more complicated, so I'll save that one for the end. The first way is using a program called Synaptic Package Manager. This is different than the Ubuntu Software Center. It is focused on working directly with the individual packages and dependencies themselves and gives you a lot more control and can often result in easier uninstallation of specifically what you want to go after. However, it may not always be installed by default anymore. If you click your super, open up your menu and type in synaptic and you don't get anything, then open up a terminal real quick, sudo apt-get install synaptic and it will install it and then you can go ahead and open it. Then in the search bar for it, type in the package you're looking for. For example, Chromium or uh, uh, Doom. And once you find the specific program listing you want, right click and choose mark for complete removal. And then it will tell you if there's other dependencies that are tied specifically to that program and only for that program that kind of need to go with it. And you tell it, yes, remove those as well. And then click apply to apply your changes and you're good to go. The next way is of course through the Ubuntu Software Center. However, not all apps always show up here, which is why I recommend trying Synaptic first. Ubuntu Software Center just kind of has a, a more of a generalized list of programs and Ubuntu Software Center programs installed on your machine. But click the installed tab in the middle of the top, find the program that you're looking for, and then choose it and select remove. Now you may notice that after it says it removed it, if you go back to the program, it may still give you the option to launch it. And in some rare cases, it may still actually let you launch it. It doesn't always update things until you log out and log back in. You can either reboot or simply just literally log out and log back in and it will work fine. For example, once I uninstalled Chromium using the Ubuntu Software Center, the Chromium system tray icon running background extensions and things like that was still running. I had to log out and log back in for that to disappear forever. The third way is using DPKG on the command line. Now, if you know what application you need already, you know, the specific package name that you want to remove, you can skip this first step. But what you do is open up a terminal, control alt T, and type in dpkg space dash dash list and it will list all of the packages installed on your machine. Do note that that will be a lot and then find the ones you want to remove and take note of it. Either remember it or copy it to note or you know type it in up in a notepad or something like that and then go back to the command line type in sudo apt dash git dash dash purge remove and then the program name. If you want to get rid of all files and configuration files and settings and preferences and things like that related to the program. If you don't, if you want to leave those config files or preferences or what have you, just simply do sudo apt dash git remove and then the program name. But that dash dash purge removes everything related to it to clear up more disk space and if you're just never going to use the program again, you don't need it. Hit enter and it'll ask, are you sure, yada yada, and remove the program. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. For more Ubuntu related videos, come check out the playlist link in the YouTube card icon above or the description below. Or if you're interested in more Linux stuff or Linux machines yourself, come check out our sponsor, System76. System76 is based out of Denver, Colorado and builds powerful and really awesome Linux based machines for us Linux users who want one that made to work with it right out of the box. I've been using the System76 Lemur laptop as my main Ubuntu machine for a little while now and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. The unboxing to it will be in the description below and that's what I'm recording all of these tutorials on and I'm enjoying it very very much. They make great machines, they have high quality stuff, they do laptops, desktops, servers and more and they've got some pretty cool stuff going all to power makers, creators, coders and even people like me. Check out their link in the description below for more information and to help out the channel. Let them know I sent you. And otherwise, my name has been Adam Marie Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.